Welcome to the Life on Tap podcast, where we help you rediscover your potential so that you feel confident, clear, and independent. Have you inadvertently put yourself last all these years by putting others first, only to wake up in your midlife and find yourself lost in the shuffle? Girl, I have so been there. Let me share with you the lessons I've learned to create a new direction to rediscover yourself. Together, let's go on a journey of mastering your potential, tapping into the power that already exists inside of you. We'll talk confidence, self-care, organization, health and well-being, money mindsets, financial hacks, and how to kick your limiting beliefs to the curb for good. We will find and establish your vision, get crystal clear on it. This is your blueprint your life untapped. I'm your host, Francine Rivera, lifestyle consultant and certified health coach. I'm also the founder of the Life Untapped coaching system, where you can earn as you learn with our affiliate program. Check it out at thelifeuntapped.com and grab our free mini course, The Guilt-Free Balanced Life, while you are there. Are you ready for your blueprint? Let's dig in. All right, welcome back, guys. I am so excited because we have Trish Mulestein with us, and she is a holistic health life coach, certified nutrition advisor, former personal training director for Gold's Gym, and multiple business owner. She has managed hundreds of personal trainers and has been in the fitness and health industry for 18 years. She has an online platform working with hundreds of clients ranging from 14 months to 90 years old. Her professional clients range from Super Bowl champions, NBA players, motocross racers, and celebrities. Trish is on a mission to empower all to live the most healthy and disease-free lifestyle following a cleanse, balance, build, and love philosophy. All right. Welcome, Trish. How are you? I'm doing good, Francine. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Oh, yeah. Thank you for being here. It's an honor to have you here. You are a wealth of information, and I know the listeners are going to be better off for hearing your wisdom. (laughs) Awesome. So tell us about the health cleanse, balance, build, and love system. Like, why is that so important to you? Well, let me tell you. So I, as a personal trainer and owning my own personal training, uh, a group and, and being at, you know, being part of gold's gym, the, the franchise and managing uh, multiple gyms, you can imagine that I have seen pretty much every single weight loss, nutrition, fad, you know, thing come through and probably have tried out every single one of them and researched everyone to see what's the most effective. And so what I found is when I found this philosophy, I was actually practicing this philosophy before I found somebody that was teaching this philosophy. So when you go into the research, you can find that you become into contact with so many toxins on a daily basis. And and really, those toxins start to get stuck in our body. We're, We're not our bodies were not made to consume so many chemicals and so many irritants. And so really... It, and then it throws everything off, right? So they so they come into contact and then they start throwing everything off as far as your pH or your hormones, right? And and then we find that our bodies are so we have such a deficit in in nutrition. And so that's kind of how that philosophy came about of, you know, having a simple step a program philosophy that somebody could follow. So let's cleanse all the toxins out. Let's get rid of them first. Then let's balance and our pH and our hormones. And then let's build our bodies up with some good nutrients. Make sure that we're getting all the vitamins and minerals that that our diets are so deficient. And then love just encompasses everything. You know, love makes the world go round and it's everything is love. Love yourself, love others. And you can't really be a healthy, balanced person if, if you're not practicing the art of loving oneself and then others. So that's kind of how the philosophy came about. And before I was kind of piecemealing it all together, when I have an athlete, my athletes came to me not for kind of performance enhancements. They came to me because they were suffering with 
health issues. You know, I had one of my Super Bowl champions, he was straught with hip injuries and with debilitating migraines so that he had to figure out what was causing those migraines because it was performing going to practice or God forbid he gets a migraine on a Sunday when he has to be in a game. And, and other health issues. One of my athletes had kidney failure. And it was kind of how you can main, maintain being at that professional level, at that height, with everyday illnesses that happen to all of us. So that's kind of how that philosophy came about. Okay. I mean, it sounds kind of basic. I mean, it makes sense. So I know by when this show airs, it's going to be the beginning of January. So everybody is going to be on the New Year's resolutions and starting the year off right. And one of the biggest things that people make a resolution for is their health or their wellness, whether they have to lose some weight or just they want to get healthier and treat their bodies better. So is this system something that anybody, like the average person could do, or is this something you just do for your professional athletes? This is something that I think everyone should do. Even we should detox our children because people don't realize that We come in contact with hundreds of toxins on a daily basis. You put a newborn baby down on a new piece of carpet and there's toxins on that carpet. There's toxins in the air. There's toxins in our air fresheners. How about the cleaning chemicals? I mean, I believe personally that we should have a detox program daily, like a strategy for your family on a daily basis. Now, besides that, to have a detox lifestyle, right? So that that we are eliminating those toxins that are coming into our body on a daily basis. But then in addition to that, I think a couple times a year, it's it's important to really do a deep dive. It's kind of like brush your teeth. Every day you're brushing your teeth multiple times, but then you go to the dentist every six months and you get a deep cleaning, right? So it's kind of the same thing as that, I would say a detox. I have a specific detox program that I follow that is really the most effective program I've ever seen. And, and, you know, I've personally, I've been in the bodybuilding world, right? I've done a bodybuilding competition where I've taken my body fat down to 6%. You know, I was old too. I was like 38 when I did this. And uh, yeah, and two years after having my fourth child, um, I did, uh, I was dating a bodybuilder at the time and, you know, I was cooking his meals and eating along with his regiment. And so I just started to see the changes that it was making in my body. And I thought, well, you know, let me just go for it. So I did it and prepped for 16 weeks and uh, took all, just stripped my body completely down to 6%. I learned a ton about myself and how, and my body and how it reacted to certain things. But the detox program that, and and it's kind of like when we do a detox, the detox program I have is It's a seven day, you can do it for seven days or you can continue it on to like a 28 day. But in a sense, it's using a supplement line for the majority of your nutrients, making sure that you have all of those vitamins and minerals and protein that you need. It kind of incorporates intermittent fasting with it. And it's just a huge caloric reduction But at the same time, you're getting all the fuel, which are the vitamins and minerals that you need for your body. So there's a lot of people eat and they they eat foods that are not nutritionally dense and therefore they're just a lot of wasted calories. You're preaching to the choir here (laughs) because I definitely, I detox frequently. So I, I get it and I do it a few times a year. But what do you say to the person who's, who's so like, you don't have to detox, you have a liver and a kidney. Like that's what your body does. Anyway, you don't need to, you know, buy all these fancy supplements. You do. That's true. Your liver, your kidneys, that's supposed to detox. The problem is, is that your liver and kidneys were not developed or made to handle the load factor of how many toxins we get. We are just bombarded 
with toxins. Um, and it just keeps, every year it just gets worse and worse and worse when you realize how many toxins are in the food you eat or in your air or just in your environment. So your body cannot keep up with that. So if, if you want to risk that not keeping up with it, and we see this all the time because we see fatty, we see non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in so many people. I mean, I would say eight out of the 10 clients that I talk to, they're diagnosed with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And that means that your liver can't keep up. Yeah. We're definitely being overloaded between our microwaves and plastics and Mm -hmm. everything else. And gosh, we changed the filters in our home, right? In the furnace system and in the filters on the car. So that's meant to capture stuff, but it gets clogged. So you just have to clean them and, you know, or change them out. So why not take care of our bodies the same way? Yeah. And I mean, just think of, I have a lot of trees around my house. I have like six huge oak trees on my property, but every time I change my air filter in my house, right? And you, like every 30 days, you're supposed to change your AC filter. And every time I take that out, it's just black and just covered in dust. Or just think about the lint in your dryer. You know, when you're cleaning, when you are drying your clothes and Mm -hmm. then just think of all that stuff and think of all that stuff that you're breathing that in on a daily basis. You might not see it, right? Right. but that's going into your body Yeah. And, and that's just through your airway. Yeah. These are things I don't think most people think about. (laughs) They take for granted, but um, yeah, I mean, when you give your body what it needs, your body will naturally will heal itself. It will work the way it was intended to work. (laughs) Absolutely. And it's, it's just a matter of really kind of changing that mindset. I think we're, we're so in a mindset that food is uh, enjoyable and, and don't get me wrong. I mean, I love grilled cheeseburger on the open fire. And like, there's not that taste is amazing. Right. But if you base all of your um, meals around taste or satisfaction in that regard, you're going to end up in trouble. So the more you can kind of gear your taste into, you know, eating, snacking on raw carrots or raw celery or apples or fruit, and it takes a while. Like we didn't change our household. It took me years to change my household with my kids. And it was little by little, by Mm -hmm. little, by little. Oh yeah, it's a process for sure. (laughs) It's a process, but it's exciting because I have a 24, what, no, he's 21, a 21 year old son just bought his own house. And and now when he goes to get his snack food at the grocery store, his girlfriend tells me, oh, he buys all Annie's. It's all all organic snacks. (laughs) (laughs) So obviously, you know, we made some kind of impact because he's my worst eater. So if he's, he can see the difference when you kind of change, change that mindset a little bit. Right. Now I've done the detox program that Trish is talking about, and it's not a starvation. I don't want the listener to think that you're going to die of starvation and you're just going to be eating carrots all day long. Like it's not like that. There's real food. I remember having steak besides Mm -hmm. just chicken. You can have shrimp. So you get to eat. You're not and, going to die. <laughs> you know, Fran, sometimes when I've, I've done that detox program multiple times and on the detox program, there's more food on the detox program than really I eat mm-hmm. on a normal basis. Yeah. I, like sometimes I can't get in all the food. So right. it's definitely not a starvation. Right. I just want to make sure the listener knows that, you know, it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be eating carrots and salad the whole day for seven days or, you know, up to 28, however many you want to do. No, it is, you're going to eat. There's real food people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so can you think of, cause you've worked with so many clients, what is some of the best, I guess, testimonies or turnarounds in somebody's health from being on cleanse balance build? Like any stories stand out to you? Yeah. So I have, um, actually it's one of my professional motocross racers father was seen by the Mayo clinic and he has some serious issues. So I had worked with him a couple of times, um, for years and he was diagnosed with type two diabetes. He cannot take 
medication. He has a hard time. The doctors can't get the medication straight. He has just, he's tried multiple things that just were not working. The pharmaceutical stuff was just not, just not working. And this last time, every time I've, you know, worked with him, we've gotten him straightened up, but every time, you know, just like anybody else, they kind of fall off that strictness or that discipline. And this was in the spring of this year. He was seen um, by the Mayo Clinic and the Mayo Clinic finally said, you know, I'm sorry that, but there's nothing we can do for you. And he had, his sugars were over 400 and he had been in the hospital for multiple uh, kind of mini strokes and his blood pressure was over 200, which you guys, listeners know, if your blood pressure gets over 180, you need to go to the hospital. I mean, right away, because that 180 and above is stroke level. So his blood pressure was over 200, was not, you know, nothing, any kind of medication was not bringing it down. And then his sugars were out of control. So Mayo Clinic basically said, you know, there's nothing we can do for you. I don't know. You know start making your plans in essence. So when he called, we put him back on a protocol of cleanse, balance, build. And within three weeks, I had gotten his, or he had, he did all the work. I just guided him, but he had gotten his blood pressure down to 150. Um, so it was still on the high level, but way more controllable. And then his sugars were under 200. So, oh, and awesome. that was three weeks. Right. So, and it's in that, that was... He, he, he travels for work and stuff. And so, you know, it's, it's harder when you travel for work to be real strict and, and he did a great job. So that was kind of one of my best ones that, that happened the fastest, you know, we like fast results. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. I know so many people, it frustrates me. You know, I'm sure it frustrates you too. When people give up, like they, they do the system for like maybe two, three weeks and they don't see any results and they give up. And I'm like, it didn't take you two to three weeks to become ill um, well, it's, or, you, you know, to gain well, all that weight. My, You're not going to lose it that fast. Yeah. Like the name of my company is Lifestyle Wellness Group because it's it's a lifestyle. It's it's a decision that you make for the rest of your life. It's, it's either do you want to be ill and do you want to have a continual cycle of going back to the doctors, going through tests, getting diagnosed with something, getting on a prescription, leading to the next illness. I mean, it, it's really, do you want that cycle or do you want the cycle of health? It's really point blank. It's, it's right. A or B. Right. And if it's going to be A and you want to have health in your life and you want to be disease free, then you work at it. And, you know, we're all not perfect. Gosh, I went through a whole apple pie. I said, get this apple pie, even though it was all organic and I made it homemade, get it out of here, right? Because <laughs> it was a whole stick of butter in there. And I mean, just making the crust, it was just a sugar. And I was like, oh my gosh, we all have those moments. But, oh, but yeah. when, when it comes to a lifestyle, you have those moments, you get back on track. You have right. those moments, you get back on track. So the detox is a great way to start off your year because it kind of resets everything. And it is extremely good for women to reset their metabolism because older women, you know, as we get older, our metabolism just slows down and it just, our hormones get off balance. And the detox program, the seven day detox it does a great job of resetting your metabolism and getting your body churning again, like functioning as it should be. Right, right. Yeah, no, absolutely. In fact, January, I'll be starting my detox shortly. Like I said, I don't know exactly what date this is going to air. So either I have started or will be about to. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, what would you say if somebody doesn't have any weight to lose, should they do this detox? Absolutely. I, I've done it multiple times that I, I feel like I don't have any weight to lose, but then we, then we think in weight versus inches versus body composition, right? So even though I don't think I have any weight to lose, I would like to tighten up some areas. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't think there's anybody that doesn't want to tighten up some certain areas, 
but the detox, the, it's crazy. The de- so the detox program is very specific. It, it tells you what to take, when, and have a couple choices that you can make with the meals, but they come out of different categories such as protein, vegetables, carbs, blah, 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 right? So it's all broken down. Somebody on this program, like I could do it and not have to lose any weight and I could you know, maybe lose two inches off my waist, which I've done that before. I've lost two inches off my waist right away. But then I could give it to somebody that is, say, 75 pounds overweight, and they could lose 20 pounds in 28 days. But mm-hmm. I'm not going to lose 20 pounds in 28 days because that's not my, what my body needs. The cool thing about it is because of the way the detox is broken down, your body takes what it needs from it and it, it adjusts. So it's not just a weight loss program. There might be hormonal imbalances that you have. It definitely gets your body to an alkaline state quickly, which is so important for any kind of inflammation. So if you have any kind of inflammation in your body, if you have arthritis or if you have knee pain or if you have neck pain or or back issues, it's going to help that as well. So it's not just Mm a weight loss issue. You know, it's yeah. not just a weight loss program. It's like a whole health program. Right. And and I say this because I'm sure you have gotten this a bajillion time because I have. People are like, I don't, I don't have to detox. I don't need to use cleanse, balance, build because I, I don't have any weight to lose. And I'm like, it's not just about weight. <laughs> like losing weight is just a symptom of a healthy body. So if you don't have any weight to lose, it doesn't mean that you're in the best of health internally either. So mm-hmm. I think that's where there's a lot of misconceptions. People think, well, I'm, I'm fine. I wear a size six. <laughs> I don't have to right. do any of this. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, size really, it doesn't have, because gosh, I saw some lady riding a bike the other day and, and she was just skin and bones. Right. So <laughs> even though she was very skinny, she was very unhealthy looking to me there was obviously something going on there, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so, we call them skinny fats or tofu, yeah. thin outside, fat <laughs> on the inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. So, some of the healthiest people I know probably have a few extra pounds too. So you, you can't judge a book by its cover. So it's not always the best indicator. But. No, I mean, you've got to, you've got to feel good in your skin. Like I, I don't even, I, honestly, Fran, I couldn't even tell you what I weigh right now. I don't weigh myself. I mean, I might, the only time I really weigh myself, honestly, is when I do do the detox program, Mm -hmm. because I am curious to see how much weight I can take off in the seven days. And usually I drop about six to eight pounds in those seven days. A lot of it, though, I believe is water weight. As we get older, we retain more water. And I think my stomach area, honestly, you know, the, the worse you eat, you can always tell, I can always tell how my diet is going by my, my stomach, my abs. So I can tell when I am, when my diet's going a little off, like during Thanksgiving, when we had people in town and, you know, we were eating out a lot and eating stuff and drinking alcohol, which I don't usually do. You could see that little pooch coming out again, right? Mm-hmm. And then I, every time I've done that detox program, I have lost like two inches off of my waist in seven days, which is phenomenal because wow. there's, there's really no program out there that I've seen that, that you can u- lose that circumference. And I just think it's because you balance out your GI tract so quickly. Right. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I been around like us you know like you we've seen all the fads and all the stuff people put themselves through and this is the safest most effective that I've seen Mm -hmm. the only thing I will say that if you are the only thing that I've had issues with which uh, you know I had someone start the detox program and the second day she says oh my gosh I have such a headache blah 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 you know I had my third coke soda of the day and my head's pounding right and I said wait back up a second you cannot detox and be drinking soda at the same time so if you've got some bad habits drinking soda drinking four or five cups of coffee a day you might want to 
correct the into habits it. before jumping into the detox. Yeah. Well, do like do the cleanse balance build for about a month before you detox. Right. Right. Yeah. Just so yeah. we can get some of those toxins out because it is such an effective program program. Cause right. what, what the, the science behind that is, is when you start pulling toxins from your, see the toxins like to live in your fat because that's that in, in they encapsulize in your fat and that kind of protects your vital organs. So those toxins stay out of your vital organs when you're overloaded and they go into the fat. That's why you see so many people have that inner tube tire around them, right? They've got skinny arms, skinny legs, but then their just midsection is just laden, you know, all their extra, you know, weight and fat is there. And it, and that's where you can really tell, you know, that you're kind of very toxic. And the reason your body does that is to protect you. And so it build upon that layer. And that's why a lot of people that try to do these weight loss programs, they never get, they never have any success because they're not detoxing. So when you start to do a detox where it's actually opening up and releasing those toxins and you release those toxins, but they got to go somewhere. So they go into your bloodstream and then they get flushed out kidneys and through, you know, evacuation. If those channels of elimination are not open, they have no place to go. Right. Right. So you've got to open those channels of elimination to get them excreted and, and out. Another one is, is really sweating. There's a lot of people that don't sweat on a daily basis. And I, I remember when I first was going through cleanse, balance, and build and really concentrating on, on going through the cleansing part, it was hard for me to sweat. Like I had to work really hard to get my body to release. And then the healthier I got, the easier it was for me to sweat. And, mm-hmm. you know, sweating is a way, it's a very cheap way that we can all detox on a daily oh, yeah. basis. Yeah. Yeah. But besides people not sweating every day. I mean, gosh, we can do a whole episode on why most people don't poop every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Which is another form that's of another the, huge detox. You know, that's, but, and it's so yeah. funny because I remember somebody saying once, it's like when you detox your body, if you, if you're not eliminating the detox, you know, your toxins through the channels of elimination, it's just like hiring an exterminator to get the mice infestation out of the wall, but they're still in the house. Now they're running free in the house. So <laughs> you've got to do it the right way. So they get out. That's exactly correct. And, and so, so what happens is, is when your channels of elimination are not open. You're not pooping regularly. You're not sweating. You're not moving your body. You're not exercising. Then if you attempt to do a detox, you can feel kind of crappy mm-hmm. because those toxins are released into your bloodstream, but they're not moving out. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah so much. But mm-hmm. gosh, Trish, thank you so much. Like I said, guys, she has a wealth of information Besides Facebook, I know we can find you on Facebook, your website, like where can people reach you? Yep, you can um, see us on uh, www.lifestylewellnessgroup.com and um, you can contact me on that or trish at lifestylewellnessgroup.com. I'm always accessible by way of email, but Facebook, we have our our group Facebook where Fran is um, one of the coaches on the group. So you're more than welcome to join there. Um, We do have an online coaching program. So there's plenty of help. If you guys are looking for help, please reach out and um, let us help you. Yeah. And that's the bottom line. Like help is readily available. It's just the decision lands on you if you want to reach out and get, and get the help that you want. But I'm going to put all those links in the show notes so you don't have to like rewind and scramble and write it down. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> I'll put them in the show notes. Trish, thank you so much. I'm thank sure you, I will Tracy. have you on a gang. Like I say, we can, there's so many topics we can go off on and just like talk for days, but. So many. Oh, gosh. Thank you so I, much. You have a great day. Thank you. You too. Thanks so much for listening. But before you go, if you found value in today's show, I would love it if you would take a screenshot of this episode 
share it with others on social media. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and head on over to iTunes or wherever you listen to rate and leave a review. It is how we can empower, educate, and shift how others visualize their lives. Until next time, my friend, remember to live a life untapped. You are worth it.